Right, so we're in the new Worthing Water Sports shop, uh, and here with Nick Baker, going to go through the differences between uh, the waveboard range. Uh, so, yeah, how do we start? Where do you want to start? Um, What's the difference? What's the main difference? Well, basically, in our wave range, we have three different types of board. We go from what we call our full-on, down-the-line wave board, which is a quad fin, uh, comes under the, the, uh, the name of the grip. We then go to our all-round, um, onshore, Euro conditions, however you want to call it, um, the Mamba. And obviously then we go our free wave range, which is, you know, been around for a long time. Uh, it's, it's been the class leading uh, free range board for many a year now. Obviously had an upgrade last year. Um, again, uh, yeah, it's a great all round for bump and jumping to heavier weight guys for their wave board. So effectively three different types of wave board in our range. And this is the Textream, which is the lighter weight construction. Yep, Textream, which is obviously got our Textream carbon, which is super light, it's thinner, uh, absorbs a lot less um, resin, basically, which just allows it to make it much lighter. Um, so that is our super duper, if you like. Um, yeah, all singing, all dancing, um, high performance board for, you know, you guys going out there that want their best quality, the best product you can buy on the market for what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's looking through the different wave boards, uh, obviously each line has, um, you know, they're constructed slightly different. Uh, obviously the grip, the Mamba, we only do in one construction. Uh, and the, um, the free wave range, we do in three different constructions, obviously the Textream being the top end. Uh, the Team Edition, actually, which is by far and away our um, biggest selling constructed board. Very, very popular, yeah. It's really popular. It's obviously, uh, it's that mid price point if you like, but it is by far and away the most selling board. You know, the Textream is the least, it is the most extreme, it is the most expensive. Um, in the UK, actually, we sell very few of our sort of the entry level price points. Um, so yeah, for people I think keep these balls now for two to four years, um, rather than having to buy something new every year, we generally keep the model and the design at least for two years, quite often three, sometimes four. Um, so the guys find that they buy a board and it will roll over in two or three years time. Still got, you know, a high resale value, uh, cause they're really sought after products, um, and people use them all over the world in all different conditions, you know, on, on a free wave type especially. It's definitely the most, like, one that people talk to me the most about when they're making inquiries. It seems to be very, very popular on the South Coast. It is. Um, it, it, I mean, it lends itself, doesn't it? I had one quite a long time have. ago. I had one of the blue and white ones, mm. I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. But yeah. how much have they changed since then? It's still got the fishtail. Yeah, um, we've gone back. I mean, if you remember a couple of years ago, we were on the stubby version. Obviously, we had that stubby board that was, you know, effectively sat in this area where the Mamba is now, which um, yeah. obviously changed last year. Um, and we went to a stubby, uh, a bit like obviously we have the Blast, which is basically stubby. Parallel outline, as you know, yeah. the square and no square at all. Yeah. Uh, you need that parallel, or we wanted that parallel outline for that fast acceleration. Yeah. You get quite good control from it, yeah. which if you look at the free wave, uh, you even look at the Mamba and it's still got parallel those rails. very parallel rails. If you look at, you know, from sort of this section, yeah. that sort of maybe that main part of the board, they are still very mm. straight. Um, pulled in nose, of course, the same on the free wave. And obviously the towel's a little bit more pulled in, certainly through this back half. Um, so it doesn't look as stubby yeah. as they used to, but it's still got a lot of benefits from the stubby. Uh, but also some of the benefits, you know, from not being a full stubby. Um, so this slightly longer again, you've got a little bit more drawn out rocker line length, which actually makes it even smoother. More importantly for us, the Mamba compared to the old Stubby is so much easier to sail. Yeah, definitely. The Stubby was an amazing board. I loved it. I, I sailed it a lot in the past, really snappy. It was saying a bit of a Marmite board for some reason. It was. It, we had uh, we certain people. It. I like it. Yeah, groups, certain groups of people. Mostly those groups of people were really good sailors. Yeah. Um, which in general are more, you know, people that are more gravitate towards a grip type board yeah. because they are high level and they, they can use the grip yeah. uh, to its advantages. Yeah. For us, uh, the grip, it's one of it's funny board because normally most brands, you look at that quad, they're full on wave board. Yeah. It is just for the high end guys yeah. that are sailing in. Gwythian, you know, which are out here on a really good days and it's full on wave riding only. Yeah. Um, that isn't the, the case with the grip. You wave, didn't you? So you've got the fish exactly. tail. Yep, Probably so we've got that. Tail and, yeah. Well, the idea behind it was people it's loved faster. that tri wave yeah. that we had yeah, at the time. Right. They loved the speed of it. They loved the smoothness of it through the choppy conditions. And 
everywhere around England, yeah. except for the epic days in Cornwall, generally are bumpy, choppy conditions. Yeah. You know, we don't have epic conditions like Maui, unfortunately. Yeah. That's why we make our products for the sort of conditions that we sell them in. Yeah. Um, the thing with a grip, as an let's say average wave sailor yeah and there's a lot of guys around this south coast i mean average doesn't sound the right word but we're talking when i say average they can actually go out in all conditions yeah you know they're not doing big push loops they're yeah. not doing 360s on the waves they're wave riding front side and back side okay you know they're doing nice confident jumps and they can yeah. go out in all sort of conditions you know those guys all of those guys can jump on a grip yeah. and go oh my god that's an amazing board yeah got great control amazing top speed uh, it turns obviously incredible um, and they can just sail it backwards and forwards as well as wave ride it, jump it, etc. Yeah. The difference between the grip and the mamba, you jump on the mamba and rather than the grip, you sort of actually got to wiggle it up yeah, to get the rocker out of the water. It's a little bit stickier initially, but you sort of wiggle it, you've got to be a little bit more powered and loaded in the sail. Yeah. And that and with our superhero sail, the draft being a little bit further back, yeah. that actually enables that with the board so you get that rock out the water and off you go but my concern with the grip when it when they they merge the tri-wave in my head that's how i kind of see it i was worried that they were going to bring too much of the tri-wave over into the quad and sort of get rid of that radical side of it no but it somehow even though it's got a fishtail mm. it you can dial it to be either but also yeah, either it with feels the like fins. both but still yep. doesn't lack performance it's really weird mm. It's That's like, a little bit the same so with the Mamba too. You can dull all the boards in a little bit differently depending on how you want to sail them. Yeah, for me, when yeah. I sail the Mamba, I have the straps back. I have quite a wide actual stance between front and rear foot, yeah. but I have the back strap right at the back. Yeah. I bring the mast track quite far back. You know, really, I actually yeah. have the fins quite far back but close together. Yeah, well, that's and what that base, yeah, that basically gives me that real snappy. It makes a big on difference. the little ways that we have here. Yeah, that are not very powerful. They're pretty soft. They crumble rather than throw and bow. You know, so you you need the board to be able to do all the turning. My the wave's not really helping. If you so get much. them both set up in that way, so they're snappy. Mm -hmm. The thing that I find is you really need to be powered up when you're using the grip because to get more that radical, it yep. sinks in the tail a little bit more. Yep. If you don't have that drive through the turn. But yep. that's why I think these two are really hard to choose from on the south coast here because we do actually have quite strong winds on the inside. But can, soft, can be softer like, waves yeah. in a way, yeah. But you can Compared feel like you're quite powered up. If it's like 3.4 or yep. like 3.7 or whatever, like a high wind board, that is actually really, really good. Um, you're going to have yeah. what the grip will do I mean as again I was doing this in the past a little bit I would have an 84 mamba this works in everything yeah and then I would go for the smaller size of a grip this is so when it was more yeah. normal size conditions 4750 maybe 42 that might be yeah. a crossover for me I'd be on the mamba yeah because it got going a little bit quicker and we have quite a lot of current at times yeah it's windy but quite a lot of current Definitely. so we want to ride close to the beach kick out and get hook in and get going really and quickly jump. And, do and, and do the, exactly yeah, yeah. and do the jumps but and then that is Really good at jumping still. <laughs> well, yeah, they both jump and this gets unstuck quicker and just for your, flies off. Yeah, and I think for your your general wave guys um, that are not, that are not full on carving through hard turns in sort of you know those bigger faster waves. Yeah, the Mamba will do it all. Yeah. Again, not that the Mamba can't do it in some of those conditions. I mean, Lucas obviously lives in Cornwall. Yeah, uh, he sells a Mamba and he's a light guy. Yeah, me too. I and you're a lighter guy. Me and guy. him, I thought we were going to struggle yeah, on once this. Once he played around with the position where exactly. he wants the fins and the setup and that with his sails, and he uses um, the superheroes on it as well, yeah. and he seems to love it. Yeah, I do. Myself, I was on Mamba's last year. Uh, this current season, with the way that the superstar that I use set up a little bit differently yeah. than it was last year, it'd been the second year in its in its running. Um, the Mamba's nice in the more flatter wave conditions. So yeah. As soon as we get proper waves. I'm actually gone back to enjoying the grip more. I like that sort of way I can get that more snap off the top. Maybe get a little bit more power on the front. Uh, the, well, it was the superstar in the past was higher up and yeah. more forward than it is now. It's slightly down and slightly back. Which engages the the nose, superhero was yeah really far back in a way, yeah. you know, and low, and that's moved slightly forwards. Yeah, not a lot, but a little bit. So they've sort of come a little bit closer together. Yeah. You know, so they've still got a different feel and they do different things to the boards. Yeah. Um, but I found when it was bigger waves. And I'm really wanting that real snap off the top. I just found the grip. Oh, I got back on it again. Oh, yeah. We'll go the last you year. Go was, yeah. You can push on the amazing. rail. And Absolutely push on amazing. The but I think for the conditions, it, which is largely where the water sports is ultimately yeah. down here on the beach, down here at Goring, yeah. uh, Faring, Goring, Lansing, Shoreham, you know, Witterings, even at those sort of points that we, where we live and go sailing mostly, I think 75% of the people yeah. that are wave guys would be better off on a Mamba type board. I just think you'll get you know? more, from my experience, 
in what I've done in the last few months having this, even though I thought I was just a grip person through mm. and throughout. Yeah. Now I've got and this. And being lighter. And you yeah, think so, yeah, I didn't have the strength in my legs, so you managed to always make this don't do more radical turns. Now I've got the fins sorted out. I'm actually having just generally a little bit more fun like across the day. Yeah. Then I get like a couple of cool turns on yeah. that. But this, I'm having a whole good yeah. time on yeah. the, the whole And day. again, if you're that maybe moving, not... Jumping, it's just sort of got a bit more push to get all me up around. and through it. Yeah, and, yeah. If you, and if you're not as experienced with wave riding, if you're having a few issues sometimes, and most people's wave riding problem is from you're initiating it yeah. all the way through that bottom turn. You know, if you get through the bottom turn and you come towards the top with speed, yeah. the cutback's relatively easy. Yeah. But the hard bit is keeping the speed, keeping on the way, keeping that drive through the bottom. Yeah. Obviously, with a grip-type board, slightly narrower tail, more performance for powered-up sort of conditions, you know, it will do that amazingly if you know a little bit about yeah. what you're doing. You're whereas up. the Mamba yeah. will flatter you more if you're not quite as skilled in that area. Yeah. Yeah? Or if the ways and the conditions are more tricky, a little bit gusty, a little bit onshore, where it's even harder to keep that speed for the bottom tip. Yeah. So if you get it a bit wrong, and the member will still travel, keep planing, a little bit gusty, and you're halfway through it, and it's going to pull and get, you know, that sort of speed, keep that speed up a lot easier, if yeah. you like. Um, again, then you go from the Mamba, um, and different size-wise, obviously, we've got the grip. Um, we go from a 68 to a 102. Um, the 102 comes as a trifin setup. Yeah. Um, as you have it as a four, but it comes with the trifin setup. We also have the grip XS. So as is, they move down, they go from the tri down. Yeah, to the rest of them are quads. Um, and you can set it as a tri as well. They have the fin boxes set in, yeah. so you could set. I've actually tried it because I used to love the tri fins. Yeah. Uh, and, and for some reason, what they've done with it, it gets going and gets planing as quick as a general tri fin. So yeah. actually, I've always gone back to the quads. And the one thing like around the popular sizes is like the 82, 86, is they're a very similar shape, yep. but more volume it's in the tail. A little bit more volume in the, 80, in the 86 Six. compared to the, the actual yeah. so overall plan shape yeah. isn't much different. Yeah. It's not such a big difference, but it allows you then to sort of have a one board dozen, yeah. if you like. That's, that's why I had last that year. Sort of that's my yeah. biggest board. And yeah. only when I was down on my 3437, it started when I was jumping to start rail. Yeah, you always My, my ankles bit. started to go over a little bit. But yeah. even on the wave, it still was fine because it's the same shape as the 82. So. Yeah, and what I find yeah. about the grip on the other side of things is the 92. Right. If you think a 92 is a pretty big wave board. Yeah. But I can use that with a 4.2 and 4.7 if I have to. Right. No problem. 4.7, no problem. Actually, but even a 4.2. Yeah. And the thing still holds and turns like it's an 85, 86 litre board. You, it really is quite amazing. Do you find that's the same with sort of no, side side business? For me, the man, but there's a slightly different. A 78 and 84, oh, amazing. Yeah. I mean, they really are. That 78 is an incredible board. Um, the 94 and 104 is a slightly different rocker light. Yeah. It's a little bit straighter. Right. So, so it's a geared at... More. You know, you've got the guys that, that will go from a free wave board that want something more wave performance, yeah. but they can't go to a grip because yeah. it's not going to get planing enough, a little bit too narrow in the towel. Yeah. You know, they need a bit more support from that. It could be because they're heavy or maybe not quite such a good level. They like doing bump and jump. Yeah. More bump and jump as well. Yeah. So um, effectively, the 94-104 Mamba is a more wave orientated version of the free wave, if you more like. inclusive. Yeah. yeah, so you're going to, if it's on a, a reasonable wave, when the free wave going pretty fast, pretty powered up, it's going to be a bit harder to hold the rail in, where you're going to come jump on the same size Mamba and it's going to have more control through the turn, through the choppy conditions, through the windier conditions. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, our biggest selling boards generally are the free wave is a 95, then a 105. Um, right. We obviously go from a 75, 85, yeah. obviously every 10 litres, and we've just added the new 125. Right. Which is pretty cool. Well, yeah, yeah, me and some other customers are talking about, um, like, like having a little bit of a fun race in in the sort of well like 20 18 20 knots sort mm. of bump and jump like this sort of board would be so good because you'd have no problem going through all the chop and oh yeah especially and out here you just yeah and they're pretty really quick fun. they are that's I the mean, beauty of yeah, yeah the, the free wave when it changed last year um compared to the exist the, the one previous to that um most of our customers when you talk to them will tell you that Obviously, it's turned incredible, still does all that. It's got great control, yeah. um, as they sort of generally had. Um, but the best thing about it was actually it got planing quicker. Yeah. It was faster top end. Yeah. And around here, the guys really noticed that it went through the chop better. Yeah. It was much smoother through the chop. Obviously, when it's adding this, we don't generally get waves, so you no. want to make the most out of yeah. that. And, of and like it small is sort chop. of choppy. It is when choppy. You're not you winging know. or you're not foiling. Yeah. Like, and yeah. By having the speed and the control through the chop, it actually means it goes up wind even better. Right. Which 
And so the bigger guys, one's a single fin at the back rather than try. When so you go to the it. 115 and 125, you've got the boxes, the three boxes, but it comes with a single fin. Yeah. 30 cm single fin, so just heavier guys, maybe a bigger sow, you know, on. just more to push on your back foot. Obviously, if you're a guy and you want to end up using it in more wavy conditions, you can yeah. put it into a three fin um, to make it even more sort of grippy and turny. I think I'm going to get a 95. I just want to yeah. go for a blast. Well, our conditions we live in, it is amazing. I mean, we sell lots and lots yeah. of them for that reason, not just here, all over the world. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, it is a, a, a pretty fun board, and the beauty of them is the resale value of them. Again, I know you're in the shop and in consumers, these products are expensive to buy. Yeah. Um, so it's important that um, when you do have them for two, three years and you want to sell them on and, and upgrade to the new product, yeah. so you can get good money back for them. It's which, desirable, yeah. Yeah, is, um, is, a, is a key part of um, you know the brand that we have. So uh, what's your favourite and, and what size? Uh, for me, uh, well, actually, fun enough, uh, my partner made got me for Christmas one of those little windsurfing sails oh, yeah, on yeah. the board, don't as you know. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> um, and I said, she said, what would you like? And I said, okay, if it's going to be something I want, I want my favourite products. And it uh, was a 4.2 um, Superstar yeah. and an 82 Grip. So yeah, I mean, used... that means I'm using it in pretty epic conditions. Yeah. That's not what I use mostly. Yeah. Um, for me, my most used board is my Grip 86 and a 4.7. Yeah. Um, last year and the year before, it was a Mamba. When they first came out, it was a Mamba 84 and a 4.7. That was like an awesome setup yeah. for around here, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah. I mean, if I had to go today and you told me conditions to go in, it would be a 4.2 uh, Superstar and a um, 82 um, Grip. Uh, epic. Cool. Yeah, epic conditions, Ep epic you know, products for, you know, the sort of conditions that we get when it's good around here, you know, in the winter. Yeah. In the summer months, to be honest with you, you always, I always gravitate them more towards the Mamba, because the waves are smaller. Yeah, in some ways it's good that all these boards will work in the conditions we get, like, they all can well, be dialed up to sort of work in this. You're not really going to make a bad decision, really, because they all can do bits in this. Yeah. It's just you might not get, like, the 10% on some of the little bits, like, well, I might think be missing that's... some from different ones, but... You've been riding for long enough to know the way they deal with the products, the way they develop yeah. the products, you know, Craig, our brand manager, uh, and all the team that use and develop the products from wave boards to free wide boards, yeah. you know. Um, they don't just test them in one dimension, you know, at Who Keeper or somewhere like that, maybe yeah. epic wave conditions. They'll test them there, of course, because some people use them in great waves, but also they're testing them, you know, onshore, yeah. Grand Canaria, South Africa, Germany, you know, Europe and stuff, in conditions that we sell, and the conditions that we have, effectively on our doorstep here yeah um otherwise it doesn't work does it no you know people are paying good money for product you know um not obviously just for the performance obviously it's actually for the technology well, it needs to be accessible and everyone needs to maximize the amount of fun they can have on of course. them i yeah. think they they do all do that i don't think there really is a bad board here at all <laughs> um, no and again we reduced we reduced the amount of products in our range we have done over the years boards and sales yeah um which then meant we had to really focus on that um, development yeah so each product we don't just make a board and develop a bigger and, and scale boards up and down we don't we do that for the sales as well we don't just make a four seven and make everything scaled up and down from a good oh, four yeah, seven we, we develop yeah. every product every size yeah is developed yeah and they're all slightly different yeah you know as you go to a smaller sale then they develop slightly different you see the cuts to different. what they're bigger yeah. they're cut differently because you know you think on a four two and a three seven the masks are much shorter and we change masks, and off, it makes a huge difference. It yeah. does. We're also often sailing sim the virtually the same board on those different sails. Yeah. So you've got a different depth in a five metre on, on your mast compared to on a 3.7. Yeah. So they have to be produced differently, so you still get the control and the handling and the board still sticks in the water. And There's all these different factors that come into it that most people don't think about. No. Um, but to make a good range fit, suit as many riders and conditions as you can, Yeah. Um, with the different sour products and things, this is a tricky game. It takes a long time. Yeah. Um, cool. So, yeah, but that's, you know, I mean, I saw you were out the other day, or a, a month ago, actually, now, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you, I was on the Grip 86, I think, and you were on the Mamba 84. Four. I loved it. 4.7, we were on? I was on 4.5. Oh, you were on a 4.5, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I was on a 4.7, yeah. We had a great day, wasn't it? That was clean. Which is amazing. Yeah. Different boards. I was on a Superstar, you were on a Superhero. Different sours, and we were having a... And I think Tim was on... I was on the 92 grip. Grip. Yeah, yeah, superhero, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And we both come, oh, come off the water and go, oh, love this board, love this sale. Yeah. And yet we're on different products. Yeah. In the same conditions. So, yeah, yeah. It, it really is 
depending on what you want to do, what you want to achieve, what yeah. you want to get out of it, your level of saving. Yeah. Yeah. But so yeah. we've got something that can tailor to what you need. Yeah. Well, I hope this video conditions. like definitely mm. gave you a bit more of an insight. Um, but if you need any more help, you know, because uh, it is quite a bit of a minefield going through the mm. different ones and stuff, just um, give us a shout, basically, like social media or anything will come into the store and give us a call. Um, and we can try and help you find the one that suits you the best. Um, the, but we also have some here you can try out exactly as well. That's what I was going to say. The easiest so, way often um, way is, know. yeah, look at the forecast, talk to Sam, yeah. um, speak to him. He's got demo boards. Uh, we've got demo boards, obviously. I think I'm going to 95 free waves, so I can get one to play around with. There you go. Yeah, and you can come and try them in, a, try them in the conditions that you're going to use them with the sounds you're going to use them with. Um, have a bit of play around, tuning them, uh, ask our, Sam's advice, our advice um, on setup if you're having any issues or any ideas. And yeah, that's by far the best way to do it. For sure. Give them a go. For sure. And we can yeah. talk it out. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Thank you. So, on all the weight boards now, uh, in the rear foot straps, we've had double screw inserts. Now, in the front foot straps, as you can see here, we actually have the double inserts as well. You could set it with a single if you wanted to. But with the double inserts, obviously, it completely stops the straps uh, twisting, gives it more, um, more, more sort of stability on the foot strap and on your foot feel, uh, and obviously, it makes it even stronger. Yep. Okay. Double foot strap screws again in the front straps. As you can see on here, they're by a Negra carbon. Amazing on the finish. Roll it over. You see, tri fin set up, contrasting colour. So you've got the tri fin set up, obviously, you've got the fairly deep channels through the towel that actually adds rocker around the rear fin. Rear fin. Yeah. Textream bike to negra carbon, light finish. Can you see that? Amazing. Texturing carbon. That's incredible. 